Hey guys, welcome back to a new vlog and uh, uploading a 6 gigabyte video with hotel internet is definitely the fastest. But apparently today my dad is signing the lease at 4 p.m. Which is, which is exciting because we need a home. <laughs> Plus we need to get a cat. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if we're doing anything today besides signing a lease. Um, but I know... This is the big transitional period of us moving. And honestly, it's weird. I keep talking about the cat having to be put through all this change. But, I don't know if I can handle it. You know, I've been in this hotel for three weeks, for 21 days. And once we're in a new place, it's gonna be so weird not being in a hotel. But thank you guys for the support. Thank you all for the donations. Um, we raised about $4,000, but that is amazing. That helps us so much. Thank you all. So, we have some pizza. Ooh, that looks good, because it's pizza. We also signed the lease, and now we have the keys to a place. Any thoughts? No, it looks greasy. I have this empty, so I put her in the back no. seat. Apparently the cat, our cat just ran, ran outside. They can't find her, so now we're heading to the... Well, actually, she's in a different part of the barn. She won't come out. Something like that. I don't know. I can't see this time of night. And we can't... The way I usually go is blocked off. There's a freaking traffic. Uh. Huh. Oh, my God. I don't know what it was. A black wasp was right in front of me. Yeah. Have a good night. So, our cat is nowhere to be found. Now we just have to wait. So we decided to make a pit stop and put some stuff in our, in this place. Our cat is now missing. She might still be on the property of the farmhouse. Oh my God. So we're kind of exploring a little bit. The lights? The lights in the front? Uh, Hold on. Wait, does someone live there? Oh, this is the living room. Nope. There must be someone. Nope. Someone must be living there. I thought it was longer. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> Tonight is pretty much going to be our last night here at the hotel. What uh, what it ended up happening was apparently the door was open, the cat got out, and supposedly she's still on the property of the farmhouse because it's a farmhouse. So it's a pretty big area. The uh, the people that were taking care of her hasn't seen her then since this morning. Hopefully, this video ends on a more on a more positive note. But for right this second, while I'm filming this. Our cat is missing. I don't know how we're going to get her back. She's She could be anywhere hiding. I'm just I'm just very nervous. Hey guys. So, it's currently the next day. Um, today we are going back to the farmhouse and just look, or f look for our cat. Just do something. I just don't know what's going to happen. Apparently, the, apparently our, our cat has been like around other cat colonies um, and she's not an outside cat you know so we have no idea what's going on the uh i don't even remember if i, I said this to you guys but the uh the door was left open our cat got out of the farmhouse and um apparently the owners are trying are going to set up traps to hopefully get our cat somewhere safe but they haven't seen our cat all day yesterday. I don't. They haven't messaged my dad today. Um, they were supposed to move today, and they said they are not going to leave until they find our cat. So I, I just, I don't know what's going on. I'm very scared. I'm very worried. I don't know what to do. And then here's another one. Uh, come on. So 
So hopefully you have an idea of what she looks like now. If you happen, if you happen to see her anywhere, she was last seen at the farmhouse. I'm not gonna, cause that's private property. I don't want to give away the address of where the actual farmhouse is. But she was last seen around the Seven Stars Hotel. There's like a driveway, not a driveway, but there's a street that goes somewhere on the left side of the Seven Stars Hotel. So she might be somewhere in the neighborhood over there. Um, worried. I'm very worried right now. I, I got so many comments on my last video and I couldn't even res respond to all of them because a lot of them were about the better cat and it was just so hard. So I'm sorry if I didn't respond to any of the comments on my last video for a while because this happened. Um, yeah, I'll pick up the vlog later today or something. That's the closet doesn't open. Oh, there it is. Mm -hmm. It's actually a big, big one. Yeah, it is. Hmm. I can actually stand in it. Of course, that's probably because there's nothing in it. But, uh, we're just here to... We just brought some stuff up. It's actually a pretty cool view right here. Mm-hmm. I actually have to go to the bathroom. First time ever going to the bathroom here. Alright, guys. So, it's currently, um, Saturday. We, um... Today is our last day in this hotel. We are packing up and going officially or officially moving into the apartment today um so i don't know what's going on with our cat there's so many stories um see see the neighbors our neighbors from ashwood are at the same hotel as we are we've been friends with them we've been talking to them for years and our neighbor's son's wife who is we're friends with also she's her cousin is the person that was taking care of her cat she knows who she is apparently she's apparently related to the person that is taking care of her cat and she said that she has a history of taking people's cats for themselves and selling it to people over state borders and there's so many fishy things about this because the lady that is taking care of our cat said that she would let us know when she is there so that we can go there and look for our cat. Now, th keep in mind they're, they're moving. They're, they're already in a new place. And when we went there to look for our cat the very first day that we were told about this, she said that she would they would stay there until they get our cat. Long behold, the entirety of yesterday, they weren't there. And I thought, I don't know, if they were there at night, why did they not tell us that they were there so that we could look for the cat? I know it's nighttime, but why would they not tell us? And why are we not allowed to go on the property and look for our cat? They lived, they used to live there, or they technically, I mean, it doesn't make sense to me. There's just so many other factors that I can't even think of off the top of my head. It's just there's just something fishy going on. Um, I don't know what we're gonna do if our cat is missing. I don't know what we're gonna do if our cat is like if they're hiding the cat from us because we just don't know what to do. We also going with the argument that this is true that she takes people's cats. We're also worried about calling the cops because if she has a history of taking people's cats, why do people never call the cops on her? Why would she succeed? You know? So now we're very f worried about calling the cops if that's the way to go. Even if it's true that she's taking people's cats, like she has a long history of it. I just, I don't know what we, there's like so many stories and all of them include our cat not being here. So, I don't know what we're gonna do. If our cat is missing, I don't know what we're gonna do. If she is actually being hidden from us, that's a whole other thing. 
I don't know how we're gonna get her back. I honestly don't. This all kind of blew up in her face. Just like our apartment building. And apparently Justin isn't answering his phone, which is also the sketchy part. Supposedly, Justin, the guy who brought us to a slaughterhouse, uh, he's been in some of my other videos, he apparently left the door open and our cat got out, and she's been in and out of the farmhouse, is what the lady told us. And if that's true, why didn't she try to get her in the farmhouse if she noticed her going in and out of the farmhouse? So it's just like, so many other things just don't make sense, and I just, I don't know what to do. So please, I don't, I don't know what you can do. I've never experienced something like this. So just please somehow help. I don't know how to get our cat back. I don't know if she's actually missing. I don't know if she's in the middle of a field. I don't know if she's in the neighborhood. I don't know if she's in like Kansas. I don't know anything. Um, so yeah, that's the update. <sighs> God, look at this mess. It doesn't even look like a hotel room. It looks like a, looks like our, our home in Ashwood. We are slowly packing up to get out of this hotel room. Any thoughts? Uh. Well, we're almost done leaving this hotel room. This was basically our home for an entire month. Mm -hmm. Should we count this as our seventh home? Might as well. Uh, here we go, all the food in here. Well, actually most of it is liquid. Uh, here we go. Goodbye home for a month. Uh. Oh my god, this is heavy. You have to stay with this. Oh. I bring the car around. Well, we're officially in. This is all we have. What are you doing? Water. What about water? I put some in the fridge. Hmm. Guys, look at this. There has to be something I can use this closet for since it's so big. I mean, I could fit a chair, a small table, and a laptop in here if I wanted. So, we just got a bed in here. Any thoughts? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Oops. I slid it straight back. Well, guys, my dad is currently at the, um, I think, eye doctor's. Um, a nice gentleman and his son uh, helped us get some stuff like beds, that stuff. A mat, uh, a bed for me. I'm already kind of missing the hotel, honestly. And I'm I'm still very nervous about what is happening with our cat. I don't know what's going on. And I just, I'm very nervous. You know, I, I miss our cat. It's been my biggest concern this entire time. Not eating food. We have some pizza. Wow, that's good. We got some garlic bread. Very good. What is that? Alfredo pizza. More food. Dessert. No, he has dessert. This is why I'm using my phone because my camera died. Uh, what is that? It's like, it's like a cinnamon roll. Oh, we just got done eating at a place uh what was it called infinities okay. infinities yeah. like infinitos or something um the sauce that they had in the pizza was actually the best i ate about like probably 10 slices they were really small and like thin but like the sauce was amazing what did she say and then what she said about the owner i just said thanks for coming out and trying well we gotta make it we gotta figure out when we're going to go there and try to get the cat. Mm -hmm. Plus, tomorrow's stormy, so that means the cat's gonna be in, like rained on. Mm -hmm. Unless we could just go there tonight. No, she said no. Who said that? And you said that. Okay, then what did she say? Hmm. She said that the lady's just going there to feed the cat. The owner doesn't like strangers there, so 
she's just feeling them and leaving her the way we can't stick around. That's what she said. Well, if we're going to get our cat back, it's going to be because of we're there. I know. Did you tell her that? She knows that, but she said the lady's only going to be there for a minute, and we can't stay there because of the owner. Why is that moving? That can't be from the fan. That's blowing that way. But that can't... How can that possibly be fast? Strong enough, I mean. Hey guys, my, my battery has been charging like all night. I don't know if there's something wrong with the charger or the outlet. So, yeah, I'm just filming on my phone. I have like a little... I'm sitting on a beach chair right now. Laptop's right here. Well guys, I have now gotten my first shower in this new place. My camera's finally charged. <laughs> Ew. So, my bed is set up. His bed is. Hello, Lewis. Isn't this some great lighting? Mm-hmm. But at least mine has a, mine has a closet. And how come how come they were able to put a light in a closet but they couldn't have just put it in the bedroom? Like, is it really that hard? Something strange is going on with this guy, look. He has color in his hair again and he has not even dyed it. Nope. And isn't it usually complete white if you don't use dye at all? Yeah. And it's not supposed to get longer because I just got it cut Saturday. Maybe you need to go to the doctor and find out if you have like, the cure to uh, fix gray hair or, and stuff. What do you actually, why do you actually, what is your opinion, why do you think your hair is actually getting color again? I have no idea. I can notice it in the back. Reverse stress, maybe. <laughs> you're so stressed that you're, it's the opposite of stress? Yeah. And you're sweaty. I know, look. Ew. Well guys, here goes the first night. Ah, my new bed. I'm using a flashlight because I have no other light source in my room currently. <laughs> I guess I'll pick up the vlog when I wake up. Hey, phone. I will pick up the vlog when I wake up. Like, come on, you stupid phone. I will pick up the vlog when I wake up. Oh my god, you stupid. Hey guys, I just woke up. I bet you are really interested in that. Good news, guys. Apparently, the owner, possibly, it was like, my dad thinks it's the daughter of the owner or the wife of the owner. But someone called him and said, we believe your cat is hanging around our barn. So hopefully we'll get permission to go there and look for our cat. But anyways guys, this video is getting probably too long. I hope you enjoyed. I'll keep you guys updated on what happens. And uh, yeah, make sure to leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you're brand new. And see you all later. Bye.